A year passed by after HTC One M8. HTC risked too much in that device and made it completely different. The dual camera, the metal finish and the boom sound was their arguments to sell what I vote for the most beautiful smartphone in 2014. But the world don't stop and they know that, so this year HTC presents us the HTC One M9. We have been at MWC Barcelona to see these and other devices in our bare hands. My name is Philip Alves from Sex with Daniel Busby behind the camera and this is our hands-on on the HTC One M9. I gotta confess, HTC One M9 didn't convince me. Doesn't mean that it's not good, because it is, but it's missing evolution, it's lacking inspiration and it's boring as hell if we compare with the new galaxies. The HTC One M9 is an excellent upgrade for the M8 though, but it's not enough to spend hundreds of pounds for it. The M8, as I said, is an amazing phone, but the complaints were on the camera, the dual ultra pixel apparently wasn't enough for a flagship, and I agree with that, but HTC swapped it for the 20 megapixel camera without optical image stabilization, so it's still not perfect. Actually, I don't know which one I'd rather to. Looking for this M9, it's the same that looking for the M8 with small changes. The power button on the side instead of being on the top, and the 20 megapixel camera. Those were the big changes. All the rest, small upgrades. Looking first for the screen, this new flagship offers a 5 inches 1080p screen LCD 3 that is not bad. Actually, will be quite good, save some battery. Even though it's not a Super AMOLED where the red is red and the color saturation is awesome, the screen will give you enough quality for a flagship. The 441 ppi's or pixels per inch will do the job perfectly. The screen is protected with the latest Gorilla Glass 4, even strong, keep in mind that it's still a glass. The HTC One M9 will be perfect, and I repeat, perfect, if you love music. The dual speaker boom sound on the front panel will give you an experience unbelievable. I dare to say that these phone speakers are louder and with a better quality than small speakers on the market. To finish with the front panel, we have a 4 megapixel camera that will be able to record at 1080p. It's time to turn the phone over and we'll see a metal finish with a massive camera on the top. The metal has quality enough to feel a premium device, but touching both M8 and M9, I still rather the HTC One M8. Don't ask me why. The camera, as I said, is 20 megapixel out of focus, but without optical image stabilization. How dumb is that for a flagship on 21st century? Come on, HTC. The dual tone flash promised to deliver better color on low light conditions. Let's wait and see. The best of this smartphone is his heart. The processor Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 is just fast as hell and it will give you an awesome performance. The 3 gb of RAM will be perfect match to make it fast and smooth. Internal memory will be 32 gb but HTC will give you the chance to extend up to 128 with a micro SD card. Thumbs up for that. The battery of 2840 mAh should be more than enough for a day of use. The screen and specs won't drown your battery as a Galaxy phone will, that's for sure. In my honest opinion, this HTC One M9 does not worth the upgrade if you have the M8 already. But if you're looking for a smartphone with high-end specs, with enough battery for a day or two of use, and an amazing sound, this is your perfect match. For more information about how to sell or buy stuff, just type webud.com, we will be there to give you the best service ever. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like if you like what you see, and share with your friends if you're on the mood for it. My name is Philip Pouch from Sex with Daniel Busby behind the camera, and this is our hands on on ACC 1M9 at MWC Barcelona. See you guys on the next one.